All right, now in this uh, lesson, we're going to learn how to find arc length. And recall that when we had a circle, that the radius was 1. And if I had some angle here, we'll call theta. If the radius is 1, the arc length equaled, uh, the arc length there, we'll call that x, equaled the angle when it was in radians. But we don't always have a circle of radius 1. And you would probably agree that that arc length that I've drawn, kind of in an orangish red there, is very much smaller than, I'm going to try and make a circle <coughs> larger. That's the same angle theta. And yet, this arc length, just by looking at it, you can tell is obviously not the same length because it has a different radius circle. All right, so there is a formula, and the formula for arc length, which arc length is s, by the way, the formula is s equals theta times the radius. But there's a special case here. I'm going to put a little asterisk there because the special case is the angle must be in radians, so it can't be in degrees. Let's do an example. So if I have uh, an angle of a circle, not an angle of a circle, an angle of a arc on a circle. There we go, theta. So if theta is pi over 5, that's a radian measure, and we know the radius is 3. Let's put some units on that, centimeters. We want to find the arc length, which is s. And arc length is that piece right there. So we just use the formula, s equals theta, and my theta is my angle. It's already in radians, so I'm good to go. So pi over, time, pi over 5 times 3, and the units are going to be in centimeters here. And so when I multiply that out, I get 1.88 centimeters. All right, let's do another example, and let me get rid of the big circle over here to make a little bit more room. Here's a new example. So find the arc length. Find arc length if the angle is 42 degrees and the radius of the circle is 3 centimeters. First thing we have to do is convert the 42 degrees to radians using our proportion method. So x is to 42 as pi is to 180. And I'll put some little degrees on here. That kind of helps me. Multiply both sides by 42. And so now I know that x in radians is 42 pi over 180. And I don't really even need to reduce it at this point because I'm going to go right into my formula for arc length. So arc length is theta. There's my the theta. 42 pi over, oop, I missed a zero there for 180, over 180 times 3. And when you multiply all of that out, you get 2.199 centimeters. All right, so there's a couple of examples of finding arc length and the end of this lesson.